Chapter 6, the incredibly graphic violence chapter presented in Butter-O-Rama. Because you can't hurt anybody with butter unless it's frozen or poison. A kick in the butt, er. Ah! Uh. Cream beam, cream beam. That's hard to say. Battered in deep fly. Yeah, I kicked butts. You sure did. Now let's rescue the others before more butts show up. More butts? How much junk is in this trunk? A lot. This school is bottom heavy. Ha <laughs> ha, cuz butts. Oh, that's my kind of comedy. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> Sir, just because those butts are gassing you doesn't mean you can't look horrible. <laughs> Handle this. Ah, I'm here to save your butts from those butts. Like, follow that giant walking baby. Yes! I'm like a hero. Keep moving. I'll catch them here with an undie net. All I have to do is weave a bunch of undies together. Oh, hey, hey. There's too many butterflies. We gotta find a way to stop them. What beats a butt? Uh, another butt? Ah. Oh, tush! Hey, that's wordplay. And French, sort of. Okay, guys, time for us to dance cheek to 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 I'm shaking my bacon to victory! Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, yeah! You did it, Captain Underpants! You put the boot in booty! Oh, now what's that noise? I'll try, but my hiney's running low on gas. Hup, that's the last of it. Well, I guess this is where we make our stand then. See you on the other side, brother. For recess! Hey, those butterflies love wall. Hey, let's do to the butterflies what we did to the crocobats. Yeah, to the time toad. Realizing butterflies loved eating wall, they lured them to the time toad by mixing it with Melvin's mom's meatloaf. That's right, butterflies. This way to the free wall -o. Good day, mate. Throw another wall -o from the bobby. Nice adjustment on the accents. Oh, you boys and mutants are really putting away some wall loaf. <laughs> Man, I'm getting a lot of wall in this wall loaf. Wall loaf. Wall loaf. Wall loaf. Hmm, that's hard to say. Kind of like cheek to cheek. You think it's okay to send a bunch of butterflies to the future? Well, we can't send them to the past, because that's where we sent the crocobats. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's lonely at the top of the school. You ever wonder how Melvin became half cyborg in the future? Well, here's how. Oh, no! Because we fought the enemies of fun and won! Bullies become bullies because of one bad moment. Most bullies, but not Krupp. <laughs> he was just born that way, and you can't unpickle a pickle. Thanks, Dante.